I am going to show you how I make a really easy um, pa Italian pasta bake without boiling your noodles. It's going to go all in one pan and into the oven and it comes out fantastic. So anyway, I've got about a pound, maybe a little more than a pound of, of ground beef here. And I'm going to, I've got that burner on so I can start browning it up. And I'm just going to start seasoning this. And about, about a half a teaspoon of garlic I'm going to put in there. Because I am using a store-bought um, spaghetti sauce. And it's a garden blend. So it, it's already got some of this stuff in here. Now these are onions, uh, dried minced onions. And I got about a good teaspoon of those. And then I'm also going to add just a little bit more of my Italian seasoning to that. And probably a good teaspoon of that. Because that stuff is wonderful. Okay? So I'm going to give it a little bit of salt. And of course a little bit of pepper. My stove is shaking. <laughs> it's all off, off balance. It's not level. That's because I moved it earlier. And every time I move it, it's, it does that. Anyway, okay, I'm just going to leave this in here until it starts um, browning because it is still partially froze. So I'm just going to put the lid on that and leave that go for a few minutes. I'm just going to stay here and watch it. But when I get it all good and browned up, I'll be back and show you how I put this all together. Okay, friends, I'm back and I've got my burger all browned up. So, and I'm, I like it in, you know, nice chunks. I left it good and chunky. So, right here I've got my pasta. Now, I'm not going to rinse the jar out because I'm going to add water to it. And I'll show you. Let me put this over here. You're going to also need a jar of water to add with it. So... I'm going to mix this up because this is wonderful. This is like a one pan wonder, but this turns out beautiful this way. Fantastic, and I've got company coming at last minute, so it's perfect. All right, let me move my camera up here. Here's my 9 by 13 inch pan. That is what you're going to need. I'm just using a cake pan. Okay? Now, you can use any pasta that you want, but only one pound. So there's one pound of medium shells that I've got, okay? So to that, use my towel here, I am going to dump my spaghetti sauce right in here. Ooh, that smells good. And this is a very bud budget-friendly meal, I'll tell you. I've got... I'll explain it to you. I got the burger on sale for $1.99 a pound. So this is $1.99 there. I got the noodles on sale for $1 a box. And I got the um, uh, spaghetti sauce on sale for $1. So this is a $4, $4 pan of food that's going to feed two, four, six, seven people. You can't beat that. Feed seven people for four dollars. That's fantastic. Okay, just give that a little bit of a, a toss. Actually, I'm going to toss. I'm going to put this in there before I do that. Now, there's my water. You want like if you use a jar of sauce, you're going to want to also use a jar of water. I just fill it up, and that way it rinses the jar out as I go. So, see how nice that works. And then I'm going to bake this at 350 for about a half hour to 40 minutes. And then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put a little bit of cheese on top of it. I'm going to put it back in there just till the cheese melts. So that's all I'm going to do. I am going to cover this with a piece of aluminum foil. I'll do that right now. Let me see that. That way the steam stays in there and helps to cook those noodles nicely. Okay. 
So put your aluminum foil on. I hate cheap aluminum foil. Okay, so now that's going to go in the oven at 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes. And then when I get ready to put the cheese on and I take it out, I'll bring you back. Okay, friends. Ooh, this is hot. I just got it out of the oven. Ooh, get a steam flying out of that thing. Oh, yeah, those are nice. All right. Look at how nice that looks. Beautiful. Those are all done. They're, they look good and tender. They feel tender. Okay. This is going to be wonderful. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put a little bit. I know some people would put mozzarella, but I'm just going to put a little bit of cheddar on here. Not a big, huge amount. There we go. And that's it. I'm going to put it back in the oven. And I'm going to let that cheese melt. And then when it's all melted and completely done and ready to serve, I'll bring you back and I'll show you just exactly how beautiful it turns out. Friends, I am back and this is all done and has it ever looked wonderful. And it smells delicious. So, I'm going to take a little bit. I'm going to serve some up into my bowl. I'm going to have some with some salad. Absolutely beautiful. Now that is a budget meal. And this is going to feed, oh, probably seven people, counting a couple of children. So, wonderful absolute easy budget friendly meal so there you have it friends thanks for watching